I have a family of four that eats all three meals at home every day, so we have lots of peel, fruit peels, vegetable peels, um, leftovers off the plate, um, avocado peels, lots and lots of eggshells. It all goes into our bowl. When the bowl is full, we dump it into our bokashi bucket. And this is a new bucket that we just started. And so I'll just dump it right in. Some people recommend that you start with some bokashi on the bottom, but there's a chance that the uh, fineness of the bokashi could plug the spigot. So a recommendation is to start with a thin piece of newspaper, spray it with any of our liquid products, it doesn't matter which one, and then start to add the food scraps. And that tends to help the liquid to still drain through, but not have any clogging issues. And then I just sprinkle some bokashi on the top. and then put the lid back on. And you wanna make sure that the lid is very, very tight all the way around. And it'll sit there until I'm ready to fill it again. Why is it important to have the lid closed? You wanna make sure and have the lid as tight as possible to avoid any air from coming in. They work best, the buckets work best with an anaerobic fermentation. Mm -hmm. And when did you start composting? Oh, almost seven years ago. I started out with one little bucket when it was just me, and I've grown to three with a family of four now. Are there any... was it difficult at the beginning? Um, the only difficult thing for me was uh, remembering to drain the liquid. Mm -hmm. I often would forget about it because I was single and didn't fill them very quickly, and I would forget to drain them, and I knew it was time to drain when I could smell the bucket, and it didn't smell pretty anymore, it smelled bad. So that was a good reminder. Uh, but now we fill them up so quickly, uh, we rarely have an issue with that. Is it uh, when you drain the liquid, then the smell goes away? Typically, yes, after a day or two. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with the liquid? The liquid, it depends on what you want to do or what you need. If you have a lot of house plants, it's good to dilute that. Uh, you don't want to use it straight because it's very, very concentrated. What you want to do is dilute it one to a thousand in water and some people will spray it on their house plants. Um, I personally dump it down my drain because it helps to unclog grease and things like that in the drain. Uh, you can dump it in your toilet. Some people that have problems with their uh, sewer systems, uh, but most people I think spray it on their plants. Mm -hmm. And what do you do later on with when the bucket is full with the compost? You want to come with me and I will show you. All right. Before we fill our buckets so quickly, we, it depends on the time of year. We're here in the Midwest in the United States, and so we have all four seasons. And so in the winter time, when we have no garden, we have a compost pile in our backyard that we will dump it into. We can go look at that. And what we do is when we mow the yard, we have lots of leaves in the fall, we have lots of grass clippings, we'll collect all of them, we'll dump them into our compost pile. We have two sides, so one can be working while the other one is being used. And what we will do is dump the bucket and then turn it with whatever waste is in there, and that will then ferment all winter long, so then the next year we have great compost for our gardens. Hi kids, this is why I have three buckets now. So my husband built this compost bin uh, when we bought the house a couple years ago. And as you can see, there's two different sides. So um, this side on the left is a lot of different yard waste we've collected over yeah, the past few months. So and and you can see if you zoom in, you can see eggshells, you can see things from buckets that we have thrown in. And then what we will do is we will let, we will spray it with product every once in a while if it gets dry, or we just leave it and let it do its work. But here on the right, this side was full last year, and you can see it composted down about halfway over the winter, and now we have used most of the compost in our gardens. But you can still see eggshells and other kitchen waste, mostly broken down, but combined with leaves and grass and things, it works into a really and good compost. And we have two raised gardens back here that we, we use to have our own produce at home in the summertime. So that's what most of our compost. If you look up close to the garden, you'll see lots of eggshells. Okay. So these are our two raised garden beds that my husband built when we first moved in. 
And so what we do is we add mostly our homemade compost. We also add some black castings, which is the worm castings that we that we offer. And then we will we will typically buy some cow manure or something like that from the local store just for another another good boost. And so then we add all that here. We turn it ourselves, and then we have planted our garden just recently, so it's very young. But we have tomatoes and peppers. We have lettuce. We have leeks. We have peas. And um, soon we will have other herbs and some other lettuces once it gets further into the season. Okay. Thank you. And what is the reason, why do you compost? And why would you recommend it to other people to, to compost? Well, we, my family, uh, we really believe in living sustainably as much as we can, as much as possible. And we really love doing things ourselves and being able to recycle as much as possible. So being able to turn our food waste, things that you can't eat from our kitchen, to a bucket, to this, to turn into soil, to go back into the garden, is really exciting to see that we're able to grow our own vegetables without any kind of other added inputs. We start with something from the kitchen, use some bokashi, and then that's it. So our only investment really is the bokashi in the bucket. And I just, we really enjoy it. We, uh, our neighbor saw us building this, so he built himself a smaller one because it's just him and his wife. He's got a little compost bin over in his yard, and he comes over and asks me all the time questions. He bought the bucket in Bokashi, so it's exciting that I'm, you know, my neighbors are getting into it. And they are enjoying it. Um, saves money. It's just, it's just all around. We just, we really enjoy it. Teaching our kids the importance of these things and trying to cut down the waste in the landfill, which is a huge problem in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. um, they're as tall as mountains around here. Mm -hmm. So by doing this, we're doing a small part in cutting that size down and not letting that into our drinking water. Mm -hmm. Thank you.